So in this video, we are going to start building out our website. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this. This is what we finished up on on the last video. Now, the first thing that I want to mention that I didn't in the last video is if we go back over to our dashboard, you're going to notice there is a plugin that was installed called Rank Math SEO, and this was done through and this was done automatically using the Site Wizard and AI Wise Mind. Now, you want to do this before you start publishing. So you want to click on this and it's gonna tell you to connect your account. You wanna go ahead and do that. Now, I already have an account with them and normally I use the pro version cause it has some really good upgraded features in that, including the video site map that really helps to index your posts. But if you don't already have an account, you'll have to set one up and then you just activate it. And then you're gonna click start wizard. Down here, you can give your website a name. I'm just gonna leave it as, as amazing MB. Click save and continue. I'm going to go ahead and connect my Google services because this is going to allow us to be able to view more data as it comes in. So we're going to click on connect, choose my Gmail account, click continue. Now it's going to take you to connect all of your services. Now it has to do this. It has to access your Google console account if you want it to pull in this data so you can view it. Now, when it gets on this page, if you're already logged into your Google account, you want to give it about 30 seconds or so before you do anything on this page because it has to pull in this data. And once it does, all this stuff's going to kind of refresh. So right now you can see here, search console amazing MB. So what it did was set this up for me on my Google search console within the last like 30 seconds. Down here under analytics, if you have a Google analytics account, it can also connect to that. You can see down here that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and click the account that I want to use under my Google Analytics. And then for property, I'm just going to leave it like this because I don't have it set up yet. And then if I have an AdSense account, I can even add that here. But I'm going to go ahead and get down and click on Save and Continue. And this here is going to set up a site map for us. So this is just the way that I want it to be. We'll click Save and Continue and Save and Continue again. Now we can set up the advanced options. And right here, it's just a role manager. I normally don't do anything with this. So I'll just go ahead and click save and continue. And then if you want to set up a 404 monitor, so if you have pages that have that are broken and the links aren't working, it will tell you. And if you want them to be redirected to a specific page, you can do that here too. I'm not, I'm just going to go ahead and click save and continue again. And then here you have your schema markup. And I usually just leave this as default and then save it. And now it's going to take you to your main dashboard for Rank Math SEO. But you can see here that you can upgrade. And by upgrading, it gives you a lot more features. I'll put the link around this video somewhere if you want to check out the pro version. But one of the biggest reasons that I use it is down here for this video sitemap pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install my pro version so I can activate this. So I just uploaded the pro version. I'm going to go over here and click on Rank Math SEO. And then if I scroll down, you're going to see now that I have the video site map. I want to activate that. Now let's jump in to start creating content for this. So for my website, it's based around Myrtle Beach. Now you can have you can have a niche site on anything. So let's just say for an example, I pulled up this list of hobbies from Wikipedia. This is a full list. I'll put this link also around this video and you can see all of these hobbies. Any one of these can be used to build a website around because this is something that you have probably millions of people out there doing who are asking questions about it and there's products you can promote for it. And you can see how this list just keeps going on and on and on. So you can use any of these to build an informational type affiliate website around. Now for this example, I just used a location and you can do that too. If there's uh, locations around your area or even if they're not around your area, really, you can build a website based around that. Now, one way you can show Google that you are an authority on this topic is by creating a lot of content around the specific topic. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a list of questions about Myrtle Beach and we're going to let AI WiseMind create the articles for all these questions and then auto post them to our website for us. Now, if we go to Google and if we type in Myrtle Beach and scroll down, you're going to see where Google has this feature called people also ask. These are commonly asked questions based upon the keyword that you just searched in Google. So these are the types of questions that you want to add to your website. 
So how do you do that? You obviously don't want to come in here and just copy and copy and copy. So there's several ways you can do it. There is a free way I'm going to show you in just a second. And then there's also paid versions. The paid versions are going to be a little bit better because the free version is going to be using chat GPT. And the downfall to that is chat GPT only goes up to the year 2021. So for the past two years, you're going to be missing out on probably a lot of questions that people have asked. Now, this is one tool that I use, and I'll put these links around the video. This one's called Keywords People Use, and you got different options here where you can tick boxes for People Also Ask, which is what shows up in Google that I just showed you. You also have Google Autocomplete, and this here is when you start typing a question in on Google's search engine, and it completes it for you, and it shows you all the options of trending key, uh, questions that people may be asking. So you can search that way, and you can see you can also search for questions on Reddit and Quora. Normally, I will do people also ask, and sometimes Google autocomplete. For this example, I just typed in Myrtle Beach. English, United States, and I did a search. Now, depending on whether you have a subscription or not, you can upgrade here and you can do deeper searches where it pulls in a lot more searches and it goes deeper within the question to give you a lot more. But if you just come here, you get, uh, for this one and the other one I'm gonna show you, you can get some free credits to do free searches on them. They're just not gonna give you as many results as what you'd like to have. And if you scroll down here, you can see the results that I got. And so let me just zoom in here a little bit and you can see what it did. So what is the best month to go to Myrtle Beach? It breaks this down and gives you all these different questions here. And then what is Myrtle Beach known for? And then a bunch of questions and it just keeps breaking them down. And then you can download the CSV list of this if you're a paid customer. Otherwise, you can just uh, write them down yourself if you want to. Obviously, they're gonna charge you to do most of this stuff. Now, the other option is this one here called Also Asked and it works the same way. I typed in Myrtle Beach and down here you can see where it gave us all these different questions that people are asking about Myrtle Beach. And then uh, right here you can see you have to have a light account feature in order to download these. These are going to give you the most current questions. So these tools are very good to have. But if you're on a tight budget and if you don't want to use these, that's fine too. Just go over to chat GPT. And what I did here is down in the message box, I put give me a list of 100 questions people ask about Myrtle Beach. And you can see here, it gave me a list of 100 questions. Are these going to be as good as the other questions? Possibly, they might be. But I did see some in here that I know I'm going to have to remove. For example, how can I get to Myrtle Beach? Well, obviously, this is going to depend on where you're at. So this is not a question I want to use. I'd want to take this out of my list before I submit it to AI WiseMind. Now, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and take all 100 of these and copy them. And we're going to go ahead and jump over to AI WiseMind. So what I want to do is make sure I selected informational post because these are not product reviews. So I'm going to give it a name and then I'm going to post all those 100 questions in this box. So I just titled this one MB questions 100 and then I pasted all them in here and you can see there are a hundred, but there was this one question here. I know for sure I want to take out. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Now, the next thing you want to do that's very important with this type of a website based around questions is you want to use your keywords as the title, because if you don't do this, all these titles are going to be rewritten. And for SEO purposes, if these are the exact questions people are asking, that's what you want to try to rank for. Under context, we're not going to put anything in here. We don't need to do that. If you want to add affiliate links within your content or these articles, you can do that. Now, just to give you a huge tip here, under affiliate links, this doesn't have to be just your affiliate links. What you could do is if you already have an existing website and maybe you have a page on there full of product reviews or a specific product you're promoting, you could put that page in here. So when it creates all these articles on your website, it's going to be linking to that specific page driving traffic to it. So what you could do is uncheck your buttons here and create your own little banner. And down here, you could put a link to your banner and maybe it says, check out our top three recommended products or our most recommended product or whatever it is. So it's going to create that banner and put it within all those articles along with that page link and link to it. 
Now, if we go one down, I'm going to add video embeds and make sure if you do video embeds under your settings, you have your YouTube API key entered in there. Otherwise, you probably won't get any video showing in your articles. And the same thing, if you want to use stock images with Pixabay, you want to make sure that your API is entered in your settings. If you don't know how to do that, watch the tutorial videos on the AI Wise Mind YouTube channel. Now I do want to add images, but I want to make sure they're not copyrighted. So for me, I'm not going to use Google and I am not going to extract any from the direct URLs. Instead, we'll just use the stock images and whatever Dolly gives us, which sometimes isn't the best, but at least we won't have issues with it. Scrolling on down, I'm going to keep all this the same. Total number of posts to create, 100. Why? Well, that's because how many questions we enter. Actually, we have 99 because I took one of them out. So we'll do 99. And then we're going to publish on a schedule. And for this one, I'm going to do five every day. I'm going to go ahead and choose my WordPress website. I want it to generate a featured image, tags. I do not want it to auto-generate a category. Let's see what options we have here. I'm going to choose FAQs. And we're going to click Create. Now, if we jump over to content, you can see right here where it is already scheduling all these posts and it's also starting to post one of them. So this is what I want. I want it to go ahead and post one article on the site so I can go there, check it out, make sure I got everything set up right before I start posting more of these. So even though I have these set up to do five a day, initially, I'm going to go ahead and do maybe 50 posts and just schedule them all to run now. That way we have a lot of content starting out on our website. So let's give this a minute to finish. Okay, so I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So let me jump over and show you what happened. That post got finished. So if we jump over here, you can see this post got published. We have our title, we have an image introduction, a really nice video, our table of contents and the article. And so what I did was I jumped back in here to my content to all these articles that were queued up for one to two weeks out. So these were the ones that were scheduled out the furthest. And I went over here and I ticked 50 of them and I unchecked the first one that I had already or just posted, which was this one. Hit these three dots and I clicked on run selected because I want about 50 articles be, to be posted on this site to start with. That way we're starting off with a website that has a decent amount of content on it. And then from here on out, it's going to continue publishing five articles or these questions every day until it's done. Okay, so it took us about 10 minutes and we have all of these published to our website now. So let's go check it out. So here's the home page of my theme. And you can see here is there a zoo in Myrtle Beach. And it looks like Dolly created this one and Dolly definitely created this one, but they are getting better with the letters. You can see it almost actually reads as the word animal. This is something AI content has had a challenge with for a long time. Here's a good picture right here. I don't know if Dolly created that. I would say it was pulled from the stock photo place, but what are the popular local cuisines in Myrtle Beach? Is Myrtle Beach a good place for a honeymoon? Let's check this one out. And you have your introduction, vacation guide, table. Of, look at this table of contents. And then an overview of Myrtle Beach location, popular attractions. Why choose it for a honeymoon? Romantic activities, different types of things you can do on there, nightlife, day trips. Very nice article. So this is all going to be under the FAQ section here. And then now what I'm going to do is create separate campaigns in AI wise mind for product reviews on Amazon. And then I'll probably add some uh, individual links in there for products that I find online just to create and post on here. And then I'm going to go back into chat GPT or the other places that I showed you earlier and do searches for beach safety questions, events and festival questions and things like that. So I can fill out these categories too and have a complete website based entirely around Myrtle Beach or whatever your niche or topic is. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind is that it can take a week or two to start seeing a bunch of these getting indexed in your Google search console. So you wanna keep logging in and checking that. But after this site starts getting just a little bit of traffic, I'll probably go ahead and do a press release and start getting some other backlinks driven to it so I can start building up the authority even more and getting everything ranked. So in the next video, we're going to look more into filling out these other additional categories. And what I'll probably do in the next video are the product reviews from Amazon.